there, students of grade one. It's time to practice our writing skills again. Yay! Yay! This week, we will be looking at how we can become better writers by using a graphic organizer. Graphic organizers help us to have a smarter plan than we are writing because it helps us to put our ideas on paper in an organized way. That means I can look at what I did and write my first draft and my second draft as I think about what I will write and the ideas that I placed on my paper. Isn't that a very smart way of planning? A graphic organizer is a great place to get the ideas out of your head. So, let's look at this graphic organizer. It has four boxes and a circle. I would write my title in the circle, then use the boxes to put my ideas in a sequence using my keywords. Okay then, let's have some practice with this box. My topic is what would you do if you found a treasure map? <gasps> now I know what I should be thinking about. And I know that I am going to make sure that I use my keywords. So, my topics in my circle and my keywords go in the box. Hmm, now as I plan, I can put all of my ideas for my topic in the boxes so that my story will be organized and make sense. Now I've thought about my topic. What would you do if you found a treasure map? And I know the things I would do, but I don't want to forget them. So I will use my smarter way of planning, which is my graphic organizer. Because I have my topic in my circle, I know the word treasure is already here and I can use it whenever I need to because it is spelled correctly. So I just have to put the rest of my ideas here. Hmm. First, I think I'll go in the sub with my big sister. Next, I think we'll read the map so that we can find where the treasure is. Then we will look for the treasure. And finally, we'll bring the treasure chest home. Hmm, this sounds like a good story. Okay, so all my ideas are on my graphic organizer. Now I can begin writing. What would you do if you found a treasure map? My sister Cara and I saw one when we were playing in the sand. First, we got in the sub. Next, we read the map. Then we looked for the treasure. Last, we got the chest and came home. Hmm, I have all of my ideas in my story and it's in an order that makes sense. And it's all because I used my graphic organizer. Three cheers for me, yay! I know, though, that my story isn't as long as I want it to be, but that's okay, because this is only my first draft. I have to come back at it, look at it, and make it better. Now that I'm ready to write my second draft, I'm thinking, what could I do to make my story better? I remembered that if I include some more details and use some really good words, my story would be even better than before. So, I chopped it up like I should and I'm ready to show you what my story looks like now. What would you do if you found a treasure map? My sister Kara and I saw one when we were playing in the sand. First, we got in the sub. Deep into the water we went. Next, we read the map. Then we looked for the treasure. It took a long time, but we had a great time looking at the sea animal. Last, we got the chest and came home. When we opened it, 
We ran up and down in the house. I bet you can tell what was inside. Hmm, I like my new story. And the details that I added, like deep into the water we went, lets you know that we were on a good adventure. I bet you can think of what it would look like deep underneath the water. It's because I put that detail in my story. Then, the part that says, it took a long time, lets you know that my story has some more details and while we were having a long time looking for the treasure, we also saw a lot of sea animals. Did you think of sea animals that we would have seen while we were in the ocean? Like maybe sharks, an octopus, or maybe a shrimp, or a sea crab, or fish. Hmm. All of those things came to your mind while you were reading my story. That's when you add good detail. And of course, after the treasure chest came home, something had to happen. So ending it with what happened when we open it lets you know that my story has a good ending. Because I bet you were able to figure out what was inside. Hmm. But there's something still missing. <gasps> I didn't give my story a title. My story needs a name. Hmm. I know. I'll call it the Deep Sea Treasure Hunt. Doesn't that sound interesting? Now it's your turn. You're going to plan and put your ideas on a paper or graphic organizer for the topic below. Remember, the circle is where you're going to place your title. Writing your title or topic in the circle helps you to remember what you're thinking about and also if there's a word that you need to spell, it might be there. And your four blocks are going to help you keep your thoughts organized. You're going to remember your keywords like first. Next, then, and last, or finally. So here's what you're going to do. Take your time, think about the topic, write your ideas down or draw your pictures, and then get to writing your first draft. When you're finished, you can put your paper away for a while and then come back to it to write your second draft. Don't forget to give your story a title. And until next time, bye-bye.